Um, I'm coming back from outside. Actually, it's raining today quite a lot. Uh, and my camera is in a condition that could be quite scary for many of you and many of us, but it's, it's not, actually. Uh, we're going to talk about how to take care of your cameras and lenses when it's not good outside, when it's uh, uh, raining or snowing or it's cold. And that's the purpose of the video. Uh, when you're shooting out outdoors, what I advise you first, of course, if you're again going out for a long time, you take care of your camera and lens with a rain cover. Here we have a Z9 with 800 millimeter on it. And this, uh, this rain cover is very good because it's in Teflon and it's uh, taking out the, 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 the water. In many conditions, in many instances, you have your cameras like that because uh, it's raining and you cannot cover them. My advice to you guys, and actually what, that's what you do, we do at the, uh, the, the, the pro, uh, the NPS uh, depots and assistants around the world, and, and, and after in service as well, uh, we use two very, very simple things. It's a towel and an air dryer. So first, actually, what we have to do is to take care of the camera as quickly as possible after the, the rain or after you come inside, and you just cover the camera and the lens with the towel. And you're going to see that most of the water, actually, is getting out. It's very important to uh, just cover it like that, rub it a bit, and just take out most of the rain from the camera. But as you may see already, actually, it's not taking out all the, the rain. So this is the, the magic tool, actually. Uh, nothing else. Please do not use rice to put your camera or a lens in, because it, this just kind of dust from the rice can get in the camera or the lens, and it's not good. And in service, when they see that, it's, uh, it's very difficult, actually, to take care of it. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do now, is just to, to switch on the, the air dryer. And you may see that actually it's blowing out, it's pushing out the rain out of all these small parts, all small bits. I won't take it for, I mean, do it all along because it might be boring to look at, but actually what's going on is at the same time, it is drying out the water and pushing it out of the, of the, of the, of the parts. What you have to take care of as well, after having done the, the general purpose, is to take care of all the, 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 the card reader, this, this part, and, and the door has to be very uh, wet. Uh, if, if it's too wet, actually, you just dry, dry it out. And also the battery. Just check all the, the joints, and mostly, most important here, the part between the, the back of the lens and the mount. If, if this part is fine, because you have to check it, there is a rubber here as well, uh, it's very important to, to make sure that the water has not gone inside, and that's not the case. In many instances, it's not, uh, it's not going in. So when you're, when you're done with it, it's, it's absolutely fine. You just, maybe finish off with the air dryer, and that's it. Your camera and lens is fine. Now it's, it's worth, I'm uh, next, to the, next to normal, I would say normal water, a river water, but if you go at the sea, if you take like a, a wave or your, your equipment goes in the sea, that's the most dangerous thing actually for a camera and lens, because actually the salt of the water goes inside the camera and the lens, and it can just completely uh, rotten your, your, your camera, all the electronic bits, and you, your camera might be dead actually in a few days. That's the real life. So what you have to do for that is to make sure that you actually try and get the salt out in, as soon as possible, and in this instance, you have to use a towel as well, just a, a bottle of water, or just tap water, and you, 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 um, you have your, your, your towel wet, and you just put it around your camera, and then you do exactly the same, after I've done this first step, you do the same as for the rain. That means you take out the hair dryer, the towel, and you just dry out the, the camera and the lens. Again, this might save your camera, 
but it's not, of course, guaranteed because the salt is really, really enemy of a uh, camera body. So that's the part for the, I would say, the wet part, the, the water and the sea, the sea water. Now we're going to talk about the uh, snow. Uh, the snow is the same as, as, the, as the rain, actually. It's uh, because as soon as you get inside, the, uh, the, the snowflakes are transforming into water. So you do exactly the same for the snow. Uh, you just uh, go inside, get a towel, dry out, and air dryer. Now, uh, there might be some instances where actually your, your battery is, might be like lowering in terms of, in terms of power. So what we, uh, where I would advise you actually is to keep your batteries next to you, next to your actual body. Or if you are with someone, just give the, the batteries to your, to your peers as well. And you keep it actually next to your body because that's the main and most interesting source of heat around you when you're outside and it's, it's very cold. That would prevent actually any kind of issue with the batteries. In the past, actually, the NIMH uh, batteries were more sensitive to that, but then the lithium ion are not sense too sensitive, actually, to this uh, issue with uh, the cold. The last part, actually, is to talk about um, uh, the, uh, the change of temperature and humidity that you, you, you suffer from when you just go out in the, in the cold. You, you will instantly face the issue of having um, um, kind of a blur or fog on the lenses, the lens of your fender and the lens of, of the front element of the lens. The only thing you have to do actually is to uh, wait to acclimate your, your, your camera and body to the new environment because actually the lenses are glass and the, the rest of the body is mostly metal and it's very sensitive to this kind of low temperature. Actually, it gets really, really cold. And you can uh, have see uh, some frozen parts and stuff like that. But on the lens and the lens elements, actually, it will acclimate by itself. You just have to wait. And when you go out, uh, go back inside as well, you have to wait a bit as well and do uh, this kind of uh, air dryer and actually it will warm the, the camera and, and lens again and it will come down and no issue with the, uh, this condensation, actually this fog or steam that looks like, like it. If you don't wait, actually, you would just have blurry pictures and the, the autofocus will not work. So you have to wait outside and do, and do this way. So basically, that are the basic advices to, uh, to, to take care of the, I would say, extreme conditions, I mean, but rather um, normal in many areas of the world. Uh, you, you, we, we just looked at the rain, the snow, the seawater, and the cold. So that's mostly uh, the issues that we, you face. If it's about dust, we, uh, you just have to take care of the camera as well as the normal cleaning, you just brush out and uh, air blow your camera.